Hello fellow hiders of the blue and welcome to my channel. In this quick video I will be showing you how to paint a super cool desert base. Let's get cracking. So as you see we start from our, our prime base and I will start forming the desert sand texture. For this I'm using as always AK light earth terrains and what I will do is apply a big dollop I clean my brush and I will smooth and thin it in one direction and now I will apply a second one I will try to make lines with this Wavy lines is the perfect. Just like this. You can clearly see the lines going on. And keep doing this. Creating this like waves until all the base is done. Once our layering is done, I'm going to go with the sculpting tool and try to reinforce different layers. Hope you can see from the side how I try to make one side of the wave very smooth and the other very abrupt. If you find with just one application it doesn't really show, let it dry and apply a second coat, reinforcing the ridges. Our basin base is now completely dry and you can see what a nice texture it has, all the bumps. Now I'm going to add a bit more contrast, starting from the highlight. I'm going to do an overbrush using palette witch flesh. I will just apply this to the highest points on each crest. With the highlights now applied and dry, I'm going to do an all over wash using Seraph and Sepia. Once this wash is applied, I will clean it off from the highest points using a damp brush. I clean my brush and go all over the high points and I just clean the wash off. Our Koto Self and Sepia is now completely dry and I'm going to emphasize all the shadows and all the ridges using Agaros Dunes. If you don't have Agaros Dunes you can do the same using Self and Sepia but I like Agaros Dunes because it's more intense and we will get to the result we want faster. What we're going to do is apply it here in the darkest parts and I will clean my brush and feather it out into the highlights. I apply the Carlos Dunes, clean the brush, and just 
feather it out for an instant blend, just like that. So with that last step done, and the rim of the base painted black, the base is finished and I think it looks rather cool. So I really hope you liked this video, it was quick, but I hope you got some ideas for your own bases. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye! Do you want to decide what I paint in the channel or have any recipe that you want me to make for you? Then consider Patreon. I just opened a Patreon account, you have the link in the description below. Patreon will help me do all the cool projects that I want to make and help me improve the quality of my videos. Don't be afraid, no content will ever be hidden behind a paywall, but it's a nice way to help me if you want and you will get something back for your generosity. As I said guys, thank you very much for watching and a special thank you to Gearhead James, Kevin Sula, Skill Denard for being the coolest persons in the planet. Be like these fine folks, join my Patreon and take control.